what kind of driving vehicle. It's yeah, built out of aluminium extrusion 40 by 40 out of two hoverboards and some aluminium sheets that I had laying around and some screws of course. I will take the top plate off to show the inside a little bit and here you can see the quite big mess I made for once here's a battery here is um, an Arduino Nano and an um, PPM uh, RF receiver for a remote control then here is one board so one main board from the upper board and also here's another main board from the upper board and the whole thing is quite cheap um, we have to include two hoverboards that are around 90 euros per piece, so around 100 dollars. And the aluminium parts are around 20 to 30 euros. Um, the battery is also included inside of the hoverboard, so it's not some extra cost, and everything else is just some, some simple parts here. The, the PCB with the Arduino Nano is just not mention able so it's just about 10, 10 bucks with the RF receiver and on the whole thing is running a custom firmware so on the hoverboard main board and I want to show a little bit how yeah this thing is built I want to make some detailed shots and also I will link the firmwares in the bottom of the description to have it accessible for you and yes um, if you know my channel you have already seen some of the um, driving scenes but I will show them anyway so here are they
So here's another version I want to show. It's um, the same measurements from the outside, but only with one hoverboard inside. And also on this one I used an ESP32 with an ESP now connection and this remote control, which is also um, an ESP32 with an SPI display and also an yeah, joystick, an analog joystick. On this one we have a wheel on the front which makes uh, steering quite easy but nearly too easy so it, if it rolls out so the mo motors are off and it rolls the rest it will just roll in one direction because they never will roll the same speed and yeah, I will turn this on also and now the connection is there and I have to hold it project was uh, really nice and easy to build. Um, all the extrusions needed to cut to 30 centimeters, so all are the same lengths and yeah, the rest is just drilling and some angle grinding for the aluminum sheet on the bottom and on the top. For this one I also have the top but it's not uh, yeah, on it right now because I need to yeah, modify the battery a bit. That's nearly the hardest part on the whole system. So and if you want to build something like this on your own, you just need one of these hoverboards. You can get them on eBay or elsewhere or Craigslist or eBay Kleinanzeigen, whatever. And yeah, a little bit of aluminium extrusion, but that's also yeah quite easy to get in the internet, and also the aluminium sheet. So to to use most of the parts of the hoverboard, um, I also used on mine the switch and the connector for the yeah battery charger, and even the motor mount, but. I will just show the inside so you can see what what it is like if you want to build one on your own. careful with the screws. All of the screws on my hoverboards were the Phillips head screws, so you can use any screwdriver you have laying around. For once, first disconnect the battery, so no power will go to the main board and to the yeah, slave boards or sensor boards. And we have here the main main board we need and where we need to put the custom firmware on. We have the motor mounts under these yeah, sensor boards and also yeah, we have the connectors which are all plugged in via a yeah, plug and not are not soldered. Also every motor is just connected via some plugs and not yeah, hard uh, connected, so they are easy to disconnect. 